talk about the resources section. The resources section allows you to house any documents that might not be a fillable form, but something that your users need to reference. Some examples might be policies, procedures, maybe a diagram, something like this that is really just a reference document that your users might need to pull up and look at at any time. Um, so the resources section is a great option for that and they're actually very easy to upload to the site. You can add them individually by just clicking the add option here and you'll actually see you get the option to just drag and drop the file or you can just upload it straight from your computer as well. Um, from here you will need to title the document so this is an instruction manual uh, so I did for our gas monitor, so I'm just going to say gas monitor instruction manual. It will require a tag, which is basically the folder that it's going to lie in. Um, so here I am going to go ahead and create a manuals tag so that I have a folder for my manuals. It will also require a version number. If you don't have a version, I always recommend the date or just use version one and then you can replace the next one. Also, if you need that resource available offline, if they lose connectivity, you can tag that to available offline as well. Additionally, if you did have a web link and you needed them to click on a link to another website, you can house that as a resource as well. Just note that wouldn't be available offline though if you tagged it to offline because essentially they are logging onto the web to try to access that link. However, the file does download to their device and allows it to work offline. So you can go ahead and save changes here. And now that allows you to pull that document right from your resources section and they can reference that at any time. There is actually a faster way to upload resources that I usually recommend over the one option um, or the add option, I should say. It is called the multi option. The only thing is you can't tag them offline. You will still have to go in and edit them and tag the ones you need offline. However, this is much faster for uploading purposes to just drag and drop them from your computer right onto the site so that you can upload them. Kind of similar thing, you can tag it back to a folder that is already created, or in this case, I wanna create one for our policies and procedures. So I'm gonna title this one policies and procedures. And then once I save, as you can see, much easier, don't have to title it or do any of that version stuff. It automatically creates it for me in my policies and procedures. And I can kind of toggle between the two folders to see which resources are housed in which. Additionally, we do have the option to import additionals from our library. So feel free to peruse our library here and import any of these policies and or toolbox talks you wanna import over. When you do import some of the policies and procedures, you will have to fill in some of your company data, such as your organization name will populate into that document. The position such as a job title would need to be entered here and then a phone number of whatever that is. And then we just import that and that would import that resource with those fields already filled in for you. And now I've got my accident prevention policy right there. Additionally, if you wanna edit access to levels on who has access to these folders, you can under the edit tags option here. This is also where you can create additional folders if you want to before setting up the resources. If you need to create any of those, you just add a new tag and then just save your changes from here. You can also toggle this visibility to say, I only want my admins to be able to see this or if I want everyone in the whole site to access these uh, folders and be able to see them, you can toggle on that visibility right here. You can also give uh, a very specific editor role if you need them to access a certain folder. So if you didn't want them to access the resources or if you did want to, them to access not the resources over a whole, but just a certain folder, you can toggle on access to just a certain folder instead of giving them access to every single folder by using this editor roles right here. 
Lastly, it does automatically put everything in alphabetical order. So if you did kind of want to trick it to pop something to the top, let's say this last one here, I want it to be the top document, you can click edit and you can do little tips and tricks like inserting a character will push it over the alpha characters or if you did a number one, things like that would allow it to pop to the top. So if I save changes here, you can see it actually popped that to the top once I added that special character in there and then put it over the alpha characters. Um, so those are some kind of tips and tricks for sorting your resources as well. Of course, if you do have additional questions, reach out to our support team at support at kpaehs.com.